Hello, Realm Walkers. I'm Sergei Sorbus, and I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And if you aren't, then definitely come and hang out, because then we'll try and make your day fabulous. This is episode 23 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today, we are going to be, well, completing our little manor here, our little house. And I realized, after taking a look at it uh, for a little bit, that it's still rather incomplete. There's actually things that we need to do. There's some adjustments we need to make. The biggest one being that the upper floor. Here, let's, you know what? Let's just, let's get into it. So one of the things we need to do is actually move this garden. So this turned out to be temporary, but okay, sure, whatever. But basically everything back here, these steps, like this planned future floor space, we need to get rid of it. Um, mainly because we don't have a reliable way of getting up and down here. We could use stairs, however, you'll see a problem. I don't know why I used the doorway here, I could just walk right through. Anyways, um, like if we set down steps here, oops, no, here, <laughs> magical, you'll notice that it, it clips through the floor, so we can't have we can't have this difference. And they're saying, okay, that's that's fine. We can just do it in this direction, right? So you could say that we have it like this. The steps would start here. And then go upward. Which is fine, it's a good idea. But you'll notice that it's way above the actual level now. Which means we'd have to go up go to a different floor, and then come back down. So we'd have to go, again, up and back down in order to move between foundations. So to kind of not do that, we should just get rid of these foundations and redo them once we actually need to do them. For now, let's get rid of this. Now the next thing I want to redo is this. I realized that I kind of want a wraparound balcony. That goes around this way. We we'll also need a door up here. down here. Oh, nope. That's... I selected this last? I don't understand. Game is being a little weird. Now we're going to want to put some foundation. Now before I apply that, we should probably get rid of all this stuff so it doesn't accidentally uh, build this. Because we're not quite done with this yet. And we shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't make any of this permanent. anything with this, so that's fine. Okay, so we send out... Probably want this to be turned to a walkway to go this way, and then rebuild the garden over here. Just slightly... Slightly over one and over, if that makes sense. So this corner will actually be around here somewhere. So it's so the garden goes out this way. But we'll deal with that later. By the way, 
I went off camera into an old realm. I think I used that big portal there to go to like an astral desert or something and I grabbed a whole lot of wood because we're going to need a lot of it to build out the first floor and also some stone. Oops. Got some in the inventory right now. See like I made a few, got a few more. Let's start to... Put all this away for now. So there we go. There we pretty much have it. This is the redesign that I kind of wanted, which is to extend it out in this direction. Have stairs and then a balcony that wraps around. Um, we'll do a third floor and maybe even a fourth floor. We'll see. I think maybe just three floors is enough. But yeah, this is going to be pretty much the main design of the house now. If we look inside, we should have a pretty decent workshop space. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad either. Um, and you'll notice that these are all doors, open doors. I plan to turn all of these into archways at some point so that we have a relatively open workshop. And then upstairs will be kind of our bedroom, I guess. Sure, that works. Yeah, I like this. I like this design. It's pretty decent. It's not bad. Um, it's got room for expansion in, in other directions, like this with this direction and that direction. And again, we'll put the uh, the garden on this side. We'll just scooch this over about one or two blocks so that it lines up with this. We'll make a little walkway towards it. And yeah, we built it. Yep, I like this. So what's our material cost? 184. 48 beams, so that's 100 beams, 10 poles. Alright, poles are going to be easiest, so let's grab that first. Here we have four. How many do we need? I think it's two per. Yeah. Can't get over there. Okay, um.
Why, why don't you walk through the stairs first? Sure. Oh, that's because that's got the pulleys. Okay, makes sense. Um, okay, let's do these beams. We're gonna need 48 leather. We got plenty of it. Let's, um, let's move this over here. I just want to test to see if we can walk over it. We kind of can. Can we walk over this? No. So, that will be nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's fill this up. I am so heavy. We're gonna need shingles, which I made a, uh, a bunch of us out of sandstone. Okay, well, we got our beams left. Team's done. There we go. Here's the home. Let's look at it from over here. Not bad, not bad. Okay, it's, you know, it's relatively modern. I think once we get different materials in here, it'll look much even, even better. Okay, let's go back inside. Let's take a look upstairs. Yeah, there's plenty of room. And once we get better materials, we'll have, you know, a banister here. Railing, I should say. I don't like the placement of this, this stairs. Yeah, part of me wants to have an extension that shuts out in this direction for the top floor. But we'd, we'd need to extend our foundation this way yet again in order to um, have support pillars because if we do that we can push the stairs back towards that wall and then have it go up which will give us a much larger open area to work with let's give it a shot We're too wide. Hmm. I suppose we could make this foundation now, too, though. What do we need? 25 lumber, 12 bricks, 6 more beams. Okay. There we go. These foundations should be done down there. Wait. Didn't we chop that tree down? Oh, son of a... <laughs> oh, 
follow this direction. Oh, you shit. That's really annoying. When you're out there in the wild, this crap always falls on you. But for some reason... Hmm. Moving on, moving on. Just uh, rebuild this. There we go. Nice and rebuilt. Everything's looking... Oh, man. Damaged. Let's go fix that. Stupid tree. Just the story. Alright, we're good there. Hopefully. I suppose we could start moving our stuff in now. Um, this is really, yeah, I, I don't like this placement at all. At all. Like, it feels like the room is too open. Maybe we should put these steps over here, so we have our landing, and our our two landings will be here and here, and then the stairs will go up this way. Okay, let's try it. in the wrong direction. There we go. Oh, but now the rear of this is facing that way. Okay, it has to go the other way. <laughs> Shit. There we go. But see, it's just not friendly now, so if we're coming down... Well, we won't ever be coming down this way, will we? Not really. We'll be coming from... here. So this isn't too bad, because we'll be coming up straight up. Mm, it's still not good, a good position. I'm not sure I really like this. I think... just gonna have to work for now though. It feels intrusive. It's just not very well placed. I think if we're able to like set this back in that direction. Like if we have the, the floor jutting out then I think the steps would be perfect in this corner. But as it is this is uh, unsightly. But we'll do that later. For now, let's get all of our stuff back in here. Here we go.
Okay, so here's the current layout. I'm not 100% happy with it. In fact, I'm not happy with it at all. But it works for now. I think it stems from this being in this area. Again, if it was in the corner, and if we had more upstairs space, then it would be perfect. Then we can actually adjust this stuff more correctly. Or at least more optimally. I think that's a better word to use. Optimally. Um, I don't like this here. Let's move this on this side, maybe. I kind of want our three basics to be next to each other. This is a mm, not a good spot for it either. Now that I think about it, because this is going to be much larger in the future. All of them are going to be much larger in the future. So let's put this here, assuming that this will eventually become the blacksmith thing. Do we already have that, by the way? Uh, refinement? We do. So yeah, blacksmith hearth will also sit right on top of it. But that's that's later down the road. Um, I really don't like this placement. Maybe you should put the basics over in the corner, and then this stuff out in the front. Hmm. Okay, I'll be right back. How's that look? Is this better? I think it's a little bit better. Space for the hearth. Okay, and you're wondering, why haven't I brought in all this other stuff? Um, well, it's because we've got some updating to do in terms of our storage. First things first is, if this is going to be our entryway, that means we're going to be dumping off loot. Probably here. On this side or this side. For now, let's make it um, here. Let's put down some Voyager steamer trunks. Now, we're going to also want storage here, but it's going to be shelving units. Actually, they should all be shelving units. So maybe we should put down these shelves first. Alright, there we go with the shelves. Oops, this is a little bit dug into the wall there, but you know what? It's fine, it looks good. So we got two shelves here, one more in this corner, one more in this corner, and then two here. That should give us plenty of storage. Let's make them. We need how much lumber?
There we go. We got our shelves. Now we should probably make these, huh? Um, we can actually put them in place, can't we? What? Placing these boxes is a little finicky. Like you have to, if you want to put it on a specific shelf, you want to aim for the shelf that's below it. You see what I mean? Like if I aim for this shelf, then it's going to sh appear in the shelf above. Same with this and this. Except for the floor. You just kind of have to figure that one out. But yeah. Uh, let's leave one spot open. So this should be all the storage we need, right? Hopefully. Oh man, that's quite a, quite a lot, but I think that's never enough as well. Isn't that strange? You can always have never have enough storage, especially in survival games. Anyway, let's get these built. Okay, first we're gonna need 30 leather. We'll just use some tier 1 predator pelts. We got plenty of them, so. We're also gonna need some brass ingots, so let's pop some in. Get that on the craft. And we're done. With 20 seconds left in the clock. Nice. There might be too many over here. I have to move a couple of these. There's our storage. Let's um let's get everything back in here, shall we? Whew. Now that I think about it, we're going to be going up this a lot. So let's actually make some temporary steps.
full. Okay, since we're going to be moving a bunch of stuff over, we're going to need these steps here to kind of help us, because we're going to be pretty overburdened most of the time. Let's start with the raw tea ones. Ooh, we got inventory. Um, let's drop them off first. Here we go. Ooh, it's a little slow. Let's do this bit by bit. Right, I was thinking maybe here. But no, I think this is going to be better. So we'll do... Oh, it's misaligned. Do pliable this side and then rigid this side? Sure. So this is going to be tier one raw pliable. This will be tier one raw rigid. the uh, Yoden hearts in there. I know they're T1 technically, but I think they go in here because they're just rare. Rare-ish. Let's put all these guys in here too. All the gems. Technically these are tier 1, tier 2s. Maybe a tier 0 for the quartz, but still, it's, it's fine. Okay, we still need storage here, so where do we get that from? We should pull these two, maybe? Oh man, this character. Always so sleepy and hungry and... Oh. There we go. Got a bit of rust. Yeah, let's move these two. Let's put them over here. So we'll make a new... Um, New shelf.
Okay, let's call these infusions. And this one can be charms. A blam. Good. Hmm. The alchemical boilers here. Where's the grinder? Where do we put that fella? Oh, right here. So this is going to be for our seeds. So, for grinding. This will be our larder. And this will be our pantry. Cool. Where do we put the bound icor? Here maybe? Same with the synchronous logos. No, actually I know where to put these. They go in the toolbox. It is backwards. There we go. Let's grab the second one and put it here in the corner. We are going to need a table for this fella. You know, so it feels a little intrusive. Like we can't, like this feels prohibitive. So we need to move this stuff a bit. Preparation table.
My guy just doesn't stop moaning, does he? He's just like, oh god, so, so hungry. Feed, feed me. Um, okay, got the larder and pantry all done. Let's move all this stuff over. Wait, this links with that too? Oh shit. What do you make? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's right, this has um, enchantments on it. Shit. So we need to bring... We need to bring it closer to this guy. Um, how do we do that? Bit of rearrangements in order, I think. I don't like that angle. But it's just gonna have to do. Good. Okay, let's see if this can reach. It can't. It needs to be here. Damn it. Alright, let's just let's just move them all here now. And then rearrange everything later. There we go, we got our little hearth set up. I think everything's in range of each other, so they could we can shoot we should still be able to make the enchants, right? Yeah, good, 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 good. Goody good. Ooh, our lights.
Our VDC can go up here, but things are going to change because we have to move. Why are there injury cells up here? Mm, you know what? Let's let's just leave it here for now. I was going to put stuff in the uh, toolbox, but let's hang back on that. All right, now this can go down. There we go, nice and clear. All we need to do left is... All we need to do left, that's kind of a weird phrase. All that's left to do is to move this over. But I think we can handle that a different day, or I can just do that off camera, because you, you all need to see that. You all spent an hour just watching this get built, getting stuff get moved around. I think that's enough for today, I suppose. And there you have it, folks. The place is mostly built. Everything's kind of moved back in. There's only a few things left to do here, which is move the garden. And then, yeah, we go into the gloom. Or at least we'll try to go into the gloom and attempt to defeat that side of power. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.